My name is Jackie. I'm going to show you a family recipe for pasta that uh, came from my grandma, who's from Italy. And I like it because it's healthy, it's really easy to make, and uh, it's delicious. So to get started, we've got water boiling. So I'm just going to take the lid off that. Tip number one, put the pasta in a bowl so you can measure the serving size if you're just eating it for yourself. I'm just going to go ahead and put that in the water. Tip number two, to get the pasta as flavorful as possible, add a good amount of salt. You don't want too much, but if you do too little, it's not going to bring out the flavor of the pasta. Now we're just going to wait for the pasta to boil. Pasta's been cooking about five minutes. It's not quite ready yet, but a good way to tell. Just take a piece out, take a bite. There's a ring of white on the pasta, and it's a little too thick. It's not quite there yet. So we're just going to put it back in and wait for it to cook a little longer. So I've tested the pasta, it's cooked, and now I'm going to drain it out. So what I'm doing now is putting the pasta back in the pot I cooked it in. There's no water in there, it's just to keep it warm while I cook up the chicken, the tomato, and the pasta. So now I'm adding the oil, a bit of garlic, and some pine nuts. Tip four, pine nuts, they're not that expensive and they have great flavor to pasta dishes. Now I'm going to throw the chicken in. Now I'm waiting for the chicken to cook up a little bit and then I'll put in the tomato. I chopped up my own tomatoes because fresh tomatoes also look nicer and I'm not smothering the dish in sauce. Everything's cooked up now so I'm throwing the pasta back in just to heat it all back up together. And that's it, so put it into the bowl and your meal's ready. So that's my grandma's pasta, and if you follow those tips, you'll have perfect pasta every time. It's actually really nice.